Hey, it's Michael from Trimline. In this next series of videos, I'm going to talk you through some questions to consider when creating a staff bonus plan or a um, like a profit share structure for your team. Obviously, the advantage of this are quite clear. You can set yourself apart from your competitors. It helps you with your recruitment of staff, um, and it also helps you with retention of, of keeping the best people. And I mean, at the core of it, you're trying to reward your team for their hard work in a fair and equ equitable way and, and help them share in the success of the company that they're helping you build. So that's the end goal. This is a one way street. You need to think about it carefully before you announce it to your team. Um, obviously, the goal is to incentivize people to, to really share in the success. So if you unwind that or ch start changing the rules as you go, People can lose trust in it. People can think you're not going to keep your word and the whole thing can break down. So you need to really think it through from all angles before you come up with your structure that fits your company. The first question I'll get you to consider is this for key employees or for the entire team? Uh, so one common idea is to maybe only include the key management team. You might be including your account managers, your ops managers, that management layer in your company. The clear advantage is that these people have the most influence over their divisions or their team, and they can help drive that better performance. And they might share in a larger share of those profits. Alternatively, if you try and go company wide and offer this to everybody um, in the most egalitarian way, obviously there's, there's probably going to be less profits available to distribute depending on your headcount, but it's a bigger buy-in and everyone's rowing in the same direction. You can have greater openness about where you're going, about the numbers to get there. And, and on your all hands meetings, you can be quite open about those kind of targets, which means that everyone has a little piece of the pie and, and really wants to drive the success of the business. So that's a really um, key distinction about whether you're gonna go with just your key kind of account management team or your key management team or company-wide. So that's the first thing I'll get you to consider. And in the next video, I'll ask you in the next question. Cheers.